Prism Launcher is a popular third-party Minecraft launcher that allows Steam Deck users to play modded Minecraft. However, many users encounter launch issues that prevent the application from starting properly. Launch failures typically fall into four main categories. Java runtime environment compatibility issues occur when the wrong Java version is used for different Minecraft versions. File system permission problems arise from Steam Deck's immutable file system structure. Flatpak sandboxing restrictions can prevent mods from loading properly, while memory allocation issues are specific to the Steam Deck's hardware limitations and can cause crashes during gameplay. Java environment management is particularly complex on Steam Deck. Different Minecraft versions require specific Java versions. Older versions need Java 8, while newer versions require Java 17 or higher. The Steam Deck's path environment variables are often misconfigured, causing the launcher to use the wrong Java installation. Steam Deck's file system architecture creates unique challenges. SteamOS uses an immutable root file system, meaning system files cannot be modified. User applications must work within the home directory and Flatpak applications run in sandboxed environments with restricted system access. Memory management is critical for modded Minecraft on Steam Deck. The device's 16 gigabytes of RAM is shared with the GPU, and default Java memory settings are often insufficient for mod-heavy installations. Improper memory allocation leads to crashes, freezes, and poor performance. Understanding these core issues is essential before attempting any fixes. Each problem requires specific solutions that address the underlying Steam Deck architecture and Prism Launcher requirements. Here are the essential fixes to get Prism Launcher working properly on your Steam Deck. We'll address Java installation, permissions, and memory optimization systematically. First, install the correct Java version. Open a terminal and run this Flatpak command to install OpenGJDK 17, which is required for modern Minecraft versions. Next, configure Prism Launcher to use the correct Java path. Go to Settings, then Java, and either use Auto Detect or manually set the path to your installed OpenJDK version. Fix Flatpak permissions by running these two commands. The first grants file system access, and the second enables network access for downloading mods and game files. Finally, optimize memory allocation for Steam Deck's hardware. Add these JVM arguments to allocate 6 GB maximum and 2 GB initial memory, plus enable the G1 garbage collector for better performance with modded instances. By systematically addressing Java installation, permissions, and memory allocation, you've resolved the most common Prism launcher issues on Steam Deck. Your modded Minecraft experience should now be stable and performant.